Hola mis amigos, and possible amigas, my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments. It is Thursday once again, so let's read some more comments. I'm convinced that in a millennia or two, the MCU will have Jesus twatting aliens with a big cross alongside Captain China and Cockroach Man, as cockroaches will be dealing over life forms left on a planet named Superhero after. True. Uh, a bit pessimistic, but I perhaps Taff worship will be the large, largest religion in the world then. Having noted the wisdom of the Messiah, the righteous shall cast out those who don't deserve an eternity of watching Doctor Who, done by Blobby Mask, and know if they don't follow his example, he shall suffer an eternal afterlife of watching kids get hit by trains. Let us cringe. I can't tell if that's the greatest or worst thing I've ever read in my life. I've always been confused why you've never reacted to the secret diary of the call girl, but the penny has finally dropped. As a good Christian channel, it'll be entirely inappropriate for you to react to such a program about a prostitute. I get it now. I'm sorry if the suggestion has ever caused offense. No problem. I'm gonna do it anyway, because while I am a good Christian channel, I am also like titties. Hey Noah, can I get great? I'm sure you can. Uh, as, I, as I've been here in Pennsylvania for one year after moving from the UK, uh, I love seeing your videos as they help me so much keep the good work. Well, thank you. Uh, I love Pennsylvania. Honestly, Pennsylvania is where a lot of a lot of my family lives in Pittsburgh. My grandpa and my grandma, who actually both passed away this year, both live in Pittsburgh. And uh, my uncle and a lot of uh, and my cousins, a lot of my family lives in Pittsburgh. So yeah, Pennsylvania is a great state. I think I'm probably messing with your audience figures here. I'm a British guy backpacking in Australia, so at least there's uh, some of that 2% Australian audience is actually British. Yeah, I get you. That ties back to the last comment as well, saying he was an expat in uh, Pennsylvania. I, I do wonder that. Like, how many of my American and Australian audiences actually <laughs> just British people in other places? It's... It's possible a good percentage. You can cover all bases and react to an Australian show that aired in the UK, American Rex Neighbors Win. Well, I did that. I reacted around the twist, and if you didn't see that video, don't worry, nobody else did either. Uh, but Neighbors, that was a, it's a soap opera, right? Is it still on? It's a soap opera, right? I have I think I've heard like Chris Hemsworth talk about it in an interview once because he was on it when he was like years ago. But yeah, I'd be maybe down to react to that. Love your Saints Row 2 gameplay. Thank you. I haven't done an episode of Saints Row 2 in a bit, but I definitely do want to finish it. It's one of the better games ever made, and I gotta get it done at some point. And if you haven't noticed, obviously, the gaming... I, I've, I've, for the most part, not completely, but a lotly, phased gaming out of my channel. Like, it's not, like, a big part of it anyway, and that's for multiple reasons. I feel like I've gone through this before, but one, like... I know it's what the majority, not what the majority of people are here to see, and two, like, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to, you know, making the Let's Plays, and I, I enjoy, I enjoy streaming a lot, but it's, I enjoy, I figured that that's one of the reasons why, I, I like gaming more when I have an, inter an a live audience to interact to, rather than just talking to myself, you know, um, and also, I, I don't feel pressure to do it anymore because I know it's what the majority of people aren't here to see, but there are certain things I do want to finish, like Saints Row and South Park, and we will definitely get to them. Thanks for reading my comments once again. You're welcome. Now I've read it once again, once again, once again. That yeah, five times fast. You should mix it up and put yourself in the bottom left of your next video. Maybe the reason, for anyone wondering, the reason I put myself in the bottom right is because I have my desk right here. You can see it, uh, and you can also see it in the video. Uh, and then there's nothing over here. So when I put myself in the right-hand corner, it fits, but, like, if I put myself in the left-hand corner, like, the desk would be there, and then there's, like, nothing. It, it, it would look, I guess I think it would look a little bit weirder in the left-hand corner, so that's why I usually stick to the right. Did you ever watch Eerie Indiana TV series? American, I know, but if you never saw it, could you react to it? It's popular over here. Eerie Indiana. I can honestly say I've never heard of that in my life, to be honest. Well, what's it about? Why would you make the game squirt as weird from a country that has things like cheese rolling? People chase a roll, a wheel of cheese, and down a very steep hill with obviously hilarious consequences. I've seen that before. We're all mad here. I don't know, man. It's just fucking two firemen squirting water at a barrel while people stand by and get wet. I actually, I saw a video of it. People linked the video of it. It's a real thing. It was exactly as he described. I couldn't fucking believe it. It's BBC. Of course they would lie to you. True. And they have. And they will continue to. Good reminder about drinks being spiked. No, especially this type of year. Unfortunately, think coming happens way too often. Keep safe everyone. Have great Xmas. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate that it does happen so much. I've I've, I've seen people like obviously there's assholes who deny everything. I've seen people be like, oh, that doesn't really happen. Yeah, it does. It it happens. So if you're at a party, 
Just trust me, be fucking careful. In addition to Noah's warning about leaving drinks, if you see someone interfering with a drink, help them out the nearest window. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if anyone would be upset. I mean, fucking, what do you tell the cops? It's all he fell, you know? He was spiking at girl's drink and he just fell out the window, you know? No harm, no foul. I just want to say I'm happy you wrecked a full episodes rather than short compilations. I mean, yeah, I like that format too. It's both beneficial and detrimental to me. It's beneficial because I get people who enjoy more the, for, the full, you know, episode segment. And I get to see the full thing where everything's being cut out. It's detrimental because I could probably get more things on YouTube if I cut it up. Like, technically, if I cut my re Doctor Who reactions in, like, fucking four parts, I could probably put them on YouTube. But I just... I'm not a fan of that, man. I'm just, I, I don't like it. I gotta be honest. I don't like that, that cut up format and all that. It's just, it's not my thing. Can you react to 8 out of 10 cats to just countdown? There's been quite a few Christmas specials. Well, I have a Christmas special of 8 out of 10 cats without the countdown, but I can do the countdown as well. There are a lot of crazy games played in rural parts of the UK. There's a football match between two villages in Derbyshire. Uh, Derbyshire, who bet has been played for 900 years. They have an extra large football and try to score goals in scoring goals that are three miles apart and limit on the number of players and every rules is simple committing murder or manslaughter is prohibited uh the ball may not be carried in a motorized vehicle the ball may not be hidden in a bag coat or rucksack cemeteries churchyards and town memorial gardens are strictly out of bounds playing after 10 p.m is forbidden to score a goal the ball must be tapped three times in the area of the goal can we go back to committing murder or manslaughter is prohibited? Can we go back to that for a second? I am a favorite episode, and on my birthday too. Cheers, dude. Well, happy late birthday. I know it was a couple of days ago. Uh, how old did you turn? Don't mind me asking. Birthdays. I, I I notice that birthdays maybe get less important as you get older, but it's always a fun time. You know, it's your birthday. It's the day you're born. So I hope you had a good birthday. Why is Michael McIntyre's Big Show controversial? Because I've noticed he himself is very controversial with the internet community. When I did a react reaction to him in one of the comedians compilations there was a lot of opinion on directly on him if you look at that comment section there's a lot he's very diversive um yeah there, there's a lot of a lot of opinion on him and a lot of people who don't seem to be fans <laughs> but uh so but i wouldn't be against doing it because it seems like he has a fairly uh, large audience and he is fairly controversial uh, but so I don't know what's your opinion on Mac Michael McIntyre at the risk of blowing up this comment section what do you think of Michael McIntyre great reaction also I appreciate you saying people not to put the drink down his party but really we should be saying uh, don't spike people here's the thing I get what you're saying and I agree that we should educate people better from a younger age that shit like this is not cool shit to do I agree with that, but at the same time, just telling rapists, like, hey, don't rape people, stop it, don't go a raping, like, that's not gonna work on rapists, you know what I mean? They're still gonna rape people because they're rapists. However, if, it's not a bad thing, it's, and it's also, some people take it as victim blaming. I don't see it as victim blaming at all. I see it as educating. If we tell people, hey, don't put your cups down or all that, I understand, yes, it's bad that people do that in the first place and shouldn't happen, but it's gonna happen. You know, that that's not something you can avoid. You can't just tell rapists not to rape. They're still gonna rape. But you can tell people who don't wanna be raped to not put your drink down so you don't get, sp so you don't get spiked, you know? That's what we can do. So. I, I, some people take it as victim blaming. I don't see it that way at all. I, I see it as trying to educate and trying to save people from a worse fate. So that's the way I see it. Blue Peter rap was far more offensive than the minstrel show. Yeah, some people just shouldn't rap. The good job there's two peas in a raping line and rapid line was brutal when you know that John Leslie would later be done in for raping. Yeah, I read up on that. So I guess he was accused of sexual assault multiple times in the 2000s. But the charges got dropped. But then in June of last year, he was actually charged with sexual assault. And he's going to be on trial for it in March. So, yeah, that's a big yikes. What's the longest thing you'd react to? Because I'd love to see what you think of Midsummer Murders. But the average of Midsummer episode is 100 minutes long. I think I've seen a clip of that show before or something. Um, longest thing I have reacted to is Plague Dogs, which is currently AFK because of the Vimeo situation. It'll get up, I'll get it back up uh, somewhere eventually. Actually, I think I still have it uploaded on Google Drive. Do I? I might. 
Oh, I have to switch that leg out. Um, but the Plague Dog's the longest thing I have reacted to. Um, so, and I'm going to react to the Inbetweeners movies at some point. So, yeah, maybe. I'm not against reacting to really long things. Dad, you have to remember, this is shit Xmas in England. Now, in Scotland, we just have loads of alcohol slash drugs and watch Dune. Or similar. Well... I don't know about the drugs part, but I'm down to watch Dune. Not Christmas related, but Wallace and Gromit shorts are traditional Christmas fair here, uh, all having initially debuted at Christmas uh, or becoming an annual staple since. Yeah, Wallace and Gromit, I, it, it's a shame really that the popularity of Wallace and Gromit in America didn't ca carry into this decade, because in the 2000s, especially the early to mid 2000s, it was very popular in America. I grew up on that shit. I love Wallace and Gromit. I've loved it since I was a kid. But it seems like towards the end of the 2000s, it started to tail off. And then it just, it didn't make it really, the popularity of Wallace and Gromit didn't make it into this decade in America. Which is a shame, because they're just, they're great. Yes, react to Noel's Christmas present. I mean, I could. I have the whole, like, hour file thing. I wonder if I could put that on YouTube. I bet you I could. That doesn't, that doesn't take me as something that would get blocked. I bet you I could put that on YouTube. Alright, we might just do that then. You're in fact reacting to a TV show, that's reacting to TV show. That's some irony for you. That eh, could be worse. Could be me reacting to, what is it, Gogglebox? That'd be the ultimate, that'd be the ultimate reaction right there. Nice one, Noah. I hope you'll do one of the more recent uh, yearly review scream rights. He hasn't done one in a few years, but the last few were really good. Maybe a New Year's reaction. Uh, though it'll be, though it'll be a look back on 2014 or something. Yeah, um, here's the thing about that. I, I, I would be... I don't think I'm going to do any more screen wipes, but I would be open to doing his other shows. Like, I think he has a news wipe and a games wipe and maybe even the yearly thing as well. Maybe even Black Mirror. I'm definitely, I don't know if I do like a third episode of screen wipe, but I'm down to do a lot more Charlie Brooker content because I find him hilarious. Disturbing to see Mr. Blobby's decapitated head in the background of the intro. Yeah, I like to keep it there as a reminder of all the evil I've triumphed over in my life. Much better react to a later series of Chuckle Brothers when it turned into a sitcom, Chuckle Vision that is. I actually did in, I think I mentioned that at the beginning, the first step, first reaction I did to Chuckle Brothers was two things. First, it was uh, the Chuckle Vision episode when they're in the airport, and it's more the sitcom style. They're like working at the airport, and then after that was a clip of them like doing a real life like Hitman simulator, which was actually just from a couple years ago. Um, so yeah, I've seen both versions of the show. Glad you're acting kid shows again, even though I said you weren't. Well, well, let's let's hold our horses here for a second. I'm going to react to possibly one more technical kid things this month because Rob wants me to. And Chuckle Vision I did as a special thing, but I'm not back to kid shows. I'm going to hold off until I know for sure what this Coppola thing is going to do for me. Like, I, I want to know for sure what this Coppola thing is going to do to my possible kids react videos. And if there's no effect, then we'll continue. If there is, then yeah, we're cutting it out. Is the Black Edder Christmas special on the Christmas list? It's not on the list of things I'm going to do for certain. It's on the list of things I might do. So we might just do that, yeah. Did you get around doing the bottom or only Fool's Christmas special, uh, or have you lined up the rest of December? Bottom, yes, absolutely. Only Fool's, maybe. I feel like I said in the past I would do that, um, although I didn't say it for sure in December plans. I just don't know what Christmas episode would be the best. Feel free to recommend me a good Christmas episode of Holy Fools. That was nice, and Bunny, too. I also enjoy bunnies. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. Per usual, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. The comments in this video were pulled from Reading Your Comments 54, American Rex to Chuckle Vision, American Rex to Would I Lie to You 2, and American Rex to Charlie Brooker Screen Wipe 2. So usually... So, last week's reaction, this week's reading your comments and the free reaction videos in between it uh, were what the comments were pulled for. So, that's what. So, this video and the free re, and the free reaction videos up until the next reading your comments is where the reaction, where's where the comments will be pulled for the next reading your comments. So, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, those are the best places to comment. But, that is going to about do it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel for Steam views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon if you want to support me, or my Vimeo, all those things are in the description. Uh, thank you to all 32, 33 now, I think, actually, of my patrons for your constant support of me and my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Also, in the description, find a link to the schedule where you can see it's going to be posted daily as well as the community Reddit. With all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey's team. This has been another episode. Did I mention my Vimeo, by the way? If I did, scratch that. That's not a thing anymore. My daily motion, I should say. But with all that being said, my name is Taffrey's team. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.